On this week's show, if you're into off-the-road RVing, I mean serious off-the-road RVing, then have we got the perfect RV for you. Jeff introduces us to the Earth Cruiser. And, as we all know, storage space in an RV kitchen is always a problem. And Jeff has found some kitchenware that will help solve some of those storage problems. Then, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 gives us their top 10 tips for keeping your RV ready for the next trip. These stories and more are coming up on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. RV Adventure comes in all different types of sizes and shapes and intensities. Some people like to take their adventure a little bit farther than others. They go over the hill, they kind of push it to the edge, or for that matter, they push it right off the edge and keep going beyond that. If you're gonna take that kind of an adventure, you need a vehicle that's custom built and specially equipped for that sort of activity. And the new Earth Cruiser four-wheel drive uh, adventure vehicle is just one such vehicle. The Earth Cruiser is a unique breed of vehicle designed and built specifically for long distance, long term, self-contained overland travel and expeditions. Although technically a motorhome, it's as far from the average RV as a vehicle can be. Its design originated at the company's Australian factory, but is now also manufactured at its Bend, Oregon facility. That's where we spent some time and caught up with company owner and vehicle designer Lance Gillis. His worldwide travels and other vehicles provided the inspiration for the Earth Cruiser. We started Earth Cruiser in Australia and the reason behind it, my wife and I just love to travel. We have been fortunate to go and see some great places and you want to sometimes go back and you want to do that in a little bit more comfort and style. There was nothing, nothing out there to buy and my, my background and experience is in specialty vehicle building, that's what I do. And really that's where Earth Cruiser came from and so we started the company in Australia. Australia has very strict rules when it comes to what's called second stage manufacturing. You can't just build one of these in Australia. It has to be tested, has to be proven to the most minute detail and the modifications we make to the vehicle. So we have a, um, a legitimate product. Earth Cruisers are registered as Earth Cruisers, not a Fuso truck. They are a vehicle in their own right in Australia. It became apparent that there was an opportunity, opportunity for us to build Earth Cruisers in the United States approximately four years ago. We uh, registered the company here and just a little over three years ago we started to manufacture them in the United States. So right now we have um, 17 people um, in our fabulous workshop here in Bend and I've got to tell you the, um, the quality of work that these guys and girls put out is absolutely phenomenal. It is a great pleasure of mine to go to work every single day. When you need to travel some seriously bad roads, you need a four-wheel drive and the Fuso chassis does the job. This rig has driving capabilities well beyond those of most any conventional RV. Our video shoot didn't include any genuinely gnarly terrain, but we caught some of the flavor. There's no need to shy away from that truly memorable campsite due to bad roads. The base vehicle for us uh, in the United States is the Fuso factory four-wheel drive system. So six-speed auto, diesel engines, very economical. Uh, they're a commercial-based vehicle which we like, makes sense for us because we want them to be re uh, robust, we want them to be relatively simple in this modern world for, for maintenance, I mean that's a bit of an oxymoron, I know that, but our, uh, our intention is for the, the base chassis to be as, um, uh, as robust as possible. So what we have here is the, uh, the Fuso, which is parent company is Mercedes-Benz. 
solid axles front and back plus leaf spring suspension make up a simple but extra rugged and easy to repair suspension setup. Custom built leaf springs replace the stiff riding commercial springs on the chassis. A look at the beefy transmission and transfer case reveal the heavy duty overkill nature of the powertrain. A custom roll cage protects the cab from tree branches and other hazards. A 16,000 pound winch up front is matched by one out back because you want to be able to back out of trouble as easily as you got into it. Tow hooks and other recovery hardware are standard. Sand mats and recovery tools are conveniently located on the rear bumper. Tucked away in its own corner storage bay is an electric air pump for inflating the tires after a low tire pressure run through the sand or after a flat repair. Exterior storage compartments also provide access to vehicle systems hardware. Tie-down hardware prevents cargo from shifting around. The cab is fully equipped, but a bit spartan for creature comforts, and the seats are accommodating and suitable for long-distance travel. Fuel economy for us on this particular one has been between 15 and 17, which is kind of average again with the newer vehicles as well. Uh, you are not going to enjoy the huge horsepower of you know a great big seven litre diesel, whatever. But interestingly, just go and have a look at the torque curve between those larger V8 diesels and some very fuel efficient um, four cylinder diesels. You might be surprised. We'll be back to continue our look at the Earth Cruiser Expedition Vehicle right after these commercial messages. Simply put, Thetford's Aquacam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. Aquacam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Aquacam, another great product from Thetford. We didn't make the majestic mountains or the rugged terrain or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a Road Trek can provide. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Serious expedition travel calls for a specially built vehicle and the Earth Cruiser is the right rig for the job. Let's continue our look at this exciting custom built adventure vehicle and super heavy duty RV. The body is double wall molded fiberglass with a structural foam laminate to provide strength and insulation. Our limit for the size of an Earth Cruiser was to making sure it fit inside a shipping container. So that was a, 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 the first critical thing to talk about. And so with those dimensions sorted out, the next thing we want to do is keep the profile of the vehicle, uh, of the cab itself. As a, as a driver, you know, fatigue is the, is the biggest killer. And if we can make it that the driver is more comfortable and has less things to worry about and, and, and two can enjoy the view and, and two can enjoy the experience, that counts. You'll notice that the Earth Cruiser uh, cabin f is the same profile as the cab. The angle is almost identical. So when you're driving through those trees and, you're, you're, and you want to duck into McDonald's or Starbucks to grab a coffee, if the cab fits widthwise, you fit. And with the raised roof model, the, ca the, the, the roof of the camper is identical to the roof of the cab. And so you have, it's just more comfortable for the driver. The Earth Cruiser chassis is impressive, but its interior and accommodation features add up to enhance comfortable, long distance, self-contained living. 
Linear actuators at each corner lift and lower the roof at the touch of a button. Every piece in the earth cruiser is chosen because it's practical, durable, and ultimately functional. There's no room for fluff or glitz in a world-class expedition vehicle. With the roof deployed, there's stand-up headroom for tall people, and that enhances user comfort. This particular vehicle, um, the, the floor plan in the system is based around comfortable travel for two people. I, I want to get across the point that this vehicle has just come back from Malaysia, and that's why the raised roof, that's why you can see there's so much light that comes in here because we are looking for a vehicle that gives us the opportunity to enjoy the outside. The floor plan, the, the way everything works, uh, the systems, everything is based around one simple premise. And the premise is that we want to get out and enjoy the world as much as we possibly can. And I'm well aware of um, happy wife, happy life. And what that means is a very comfortable bed, a flush toilet, a great shower, hot water when you want it, and in any situations. And so the floor pan, everything about it is around that. You'll see that the easy clean surfaces, you'll see there's no sharp edges, you'll see that there's no um, shag carpet. There's nothing like that in these vehicles. Because what matters to us is that we want to be able to maintain the vehicle quickly, simply um, as, as possible and get on with what we really want to do. We travel with our Labrador Goldie. Labradors do two things. Well, actually kind of three things. They eat, they sleep, and they swim. And so believe it or not, Goldie's been living in this vehicle with us for the last three weeks. And you wouldn't know, because again, the surfaces that we use, the, the materials that we use, the fact that we have the walk-in uh, shower, we have the walk-in mudroom, so Goldie, can, we can put the screen door across, Goldie can shake, we can dry her off, there's a dryer in there, and happy wife, happy life. It's just that simple. Uh, the bed is up the back, um, and it's just a little under a queen size for the bed tons of storage underneath the bed. With the roof down, you can still comfortably sleep. And this is important because some people like to stealth camp. Some people lift the weather. Um, for whatever reason, that makes sense. So from when the roof is down, it's 24 inches from the top of the mattress to the bottom of the, bottom of the bed. And that would be very familiar for a lot of people with truck campers. Uh, drawer storage is the most efficient. Cupboard storage we find inefficient. This is an off-road vehicle, so we pay a lot of attention to making sure the drawers shut and stay shut. You'll notice no, there are no drawers forward facing where they could open and then become uh, a, a hazard when you're off-roading. Those sort of things matter to us. The forward dinette, we have the heating system underneath one seat. We have a laundry under the other for just to, to dry your clothes out as, you, as you're traveling. Kitchen bench is, um, again, it's fiberglass. It's uh, with, the, with the hard surface, easy clean. You'll see there's no sharp edges, rubbish bin in behind it, twin sinks, silly things, but we think they matter. Twin sinks with the plugs at opposite ends. So if you are a little bit out of kilter, it still drains. Uh, purified drinking water, not just filtered, but is purified so we can pick up water from anywhere. Critical for what we do. The refrigerator we use is marine fridge, stainless steel. It has some inherent features that work for us, being a, a marine style compressor fridge. So again, it's 12 volt. Most importantly for us, it'll work at a level, at, out of level, at a very low current draw. Overhead, there's a microwave oven attached to the ceiling, and like other 120 volt appliances, it's powered by the inverter. A central system panel contains most of the vehicle's electrical circuit and appliance controls, and monitors for the furnace, solar charger, and so on. Dometic European style windows include vertically deployed shades and window screens, and the windows hinge at the top to avoid water intrusion and bad weather. What we also have is access through the cab. And so what you can do with an earth cruiser, there's a row of switches beside the door. You can close the roof, pull the awning in. The catch on the outside of the door is internal, well, kind of internal. So you can grab the door and close it. So you don't have to exit the vehicle to leave. This matters because the security aspect is enormous. We can easily jump through if we want to, start the truck and be on our way. It doesn't matter if it's crocodiles, kangaroos, and mosquitoes out there that you don't want to don't want to have to deal with. Everything can be closed up and gone in about 27 seconds and you're out of here. And that's why we have access to the cab. It's critical. The Earth Cruiser is not for everyone. It's a comfortable but serious vehicle with every feature chosen for its intended use, which is long-term adventure travel with no restrictions on getting there. 
To learn more about the Earth Cruiser, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Coming up after the break, Jeff shows us some space-saving kitchenware. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Your RV is still using a water heater with 100-year-old technology. Isn't it time you switched? Truma AquaGo. Instant, continuous, and endless hot water. For more information, visit truma.net. Now, you can win a Carefree of Colorado power awning completely installed on your RV just in time for this year's RV season. How? Easy! Just visit our website at rollingontv.com, click on the contest link and enter. Along with the grand prize of the Carefree Awning, we're giving away six Carefree of Colorado ground blankets, one each week for six weeks. The contest starts Sunday, April 2nd, and runs right through Saturday, May 13th, 2017. So, what are you waiting for? Log in, click on, and enter. Unless you're in a really, really big RV, there's pretty much one constant in an RV kitchen. Storage space is usually limited or tight at best. So RVers are always looking for solutions to be able to put more stuff into their storage space or make it more efficient. Well, there's a company called Nautical Scout. They've been selling products to the marine industry for quite some time now. And these products are also something that's going to look pretty good and maybe work pretty well for RVers. In this case, for example, all of them are made out of high temperature silicone. This is good up to about 450 degrees, so you can throw it right in the microwave and use it like this for example this is a steamer slightly smaller size steamer same thing has a little portable tray on the inside this is a two quart saucepan with the steel bottom the steel is stainless so you can use it on any type of heat source including uh, induction type ovens for example but putting it on a regular stove that has propane heat is fine and this is a four quart saucepan and then they have these nifty little coffee drip strainer deals. Now what makes these products a little bit different is the fact that when you're done using them they fold up flat. Steamer like this, like the small, this medium size pop it into itself and it takes up a lot less space. Same applies to these little coffee deals here. Collapse it down you go from this to this, which is a pretty cool space saving. These large saucepans, collapse them down. Small saucepan, you have to be smarter than the pan to know how to operate it. There we go little bit of practice and of course you have a four cup tea, tea pot coffee maker what have you with a lid that can be locked shut for safety and convenience when pouring and this too collapses down and when the teapot folds up you can stack a whole bunch of pieces together in a relatively small space and that's nice in an RV and something else is uh, if you're in a trailer of course towing a trailer the kitchen is back behind you you don't hear it but if you're inside a motorhome where your cabinets are close to your driving area these things don't rattle and bang around as much as a lot of glass or metal containers might that can just be a you know little visceral thing but uh, every little bit of adding comfort and pleasure to your travel adds up 
So you can learn more about the Nautical Scout products by logging onto our website at rollingontv.com. Next, we join Mark and Don Polk as they show us how to keep your RV always ready to go. We'll be right back. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. For 50 years, Campers and RV has been your trusted resource for RV sales, service, and accessories. Now, with 15 locations along the East Coast from New Hampshire to Florida, we'll be giving you that same family-friendly service and be your trusted resource for another 50 years. For information and locations, visit us online at campersin.com. Hi, I'm Jeff Johnston. For those of you who are part of our Facebook family, be sure to tune in to our Rolling On TV Facebook page on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 Eastern, to take part in our weekly Rolling On Live show. We use our live events, brought to you from our studio here in beautiful Eugene, Oregon, to talk about show news and activities, to answer your questions about the show, and most important, we'll tackle your RV-related technical questions with straight scoop information. We also pass along RV product or industry news of interest. While you're on our page, you can check out past Rolling On Live episodes to see what your RVing friends are saying and talking about. We hope you'll tune in to our Facebook page for Rolling On Live, Wednesdays at 5 Pacific Time, 8 Eastern, for some great RV information and a little fun. We'd love to see and hear from you. Cheers. Okay, you just returned home from a great RV trip and you want to make sure the RV is ready to go again when it's time for the next RV adventure. Here are 10 things we do to make sure it's ready to go again. Clean the interior and the exterior of the RV. While you are cleaning the RV, look for anything that may need maintenance or repairs. If your next trip is in a month or less and there is no threat of freezing temperatures, leave any remaining water in the plumbing system. If your next trip is more than a month away, I prefer to drain water from the system, including the water heater tank. Caution: Never drain the water heater when it's hot or under pressure. This is a good opportunity to flush any debris from the water heater tank if you haven't done it in a while and to inspect the anode rod if you have a suburban water heater. Make repairs to anything on the RV you noticed was broken or not working properly during your last trip. Empty the refrigerator and freezer compartments and leave the doors propped open to prevent any mold or odors. Check all the batteries on the RV, coach, and chassis. Make sure they are fully charged, and if they are lead-acid batteries, check and adjust the water levels in all cells as required. If you are not comfortable working on batteries, have the work done by a qualified service facility. Check the inflation pressure in the tires and adjust air pressure according to loads. Always check tire pressure when the tires are cold before traveling more than one mile. Restock any supplies like coffee, canned goods, holding tank treatments, or toilet paper that you used during your last trip so it's ready to go the next time. Wash bed linens, towels, and other items you use during the trip that stay in the RV at all times. Check all safety devices in the RV to make sure they are in proper operating condition. Always conduct pre-trip checks prior to leaving on your next RV trip. You can add more items and tailor this list to your specific needs, but by following these 10 simple steps, your RV will be ready to go again when you're ready. And to learn more about your RV, visit www.rveducation101.com. Happy camping. We hope you enjoyed this week's program. 
And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories from current and past shows, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production.